Hi, I'm Izzy, and this is Dizzy Quilts and Sews. Welcome to episode 86 of Friday Sews. Before I begin, I just want to say a big, big thank you to Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room for creating this amazing hashtag um, that allows all of us to get together on a Friday and chit chat about sewing. It's pretty awesome. So thank you, thank you, Jen. Um, I've been down here a lot this week, but all of my sewing, and I mean literally all of my sewing has been um, Christmas type sewing. Um, some of it I can share because I'm pretty confident the recipients don't watch my videos. Some of it I can't share because it's not done. It's only partly done. But anyway, so I've worked on a bunch of faux leather wallets. <laughs> so I have five of them here um, for some wonderful, wonderful ladies in my life. I'm really excited about this pattern. It's a Sally tomato pattern. It's called the Penny Wallet really simple after you've managed to cut everything. I mean, the cutting out part takes more time than the actual sewing of this pattern. So I used some faux leather and hardware from Emmeline bags. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. Here in Canada, um, I love that their shipping is really quick. So when I need bag hardware or bag supplies in general, they get here really quickly. This is their metallic purple faux leather. I use some rose gold hardware. And on the inside, lots of room for cards. Um, yeah, this is... Oh, I'm just realizing I forgot to sew one seam. <laughs> Thank goodness I decided to show you this one. Uh, so, yeah, so these will be wrapped and under the tree at some point this month very glad they are done now next on my to-do list is more faux leather and i'm looking over here because i have a pile like let's see if i can lift this and show you i've been cutting there we go <laughs> i've been cutting all of the parts to make the tote bags I shared with you in my A Gift to November uh, 23 Ideas video. So I'm making eight of these tote bags, again, as gifts for ladies in my life. Um, now, again, the cutting out part is the most time-consuming part of this whole thing. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting all of the pieces I'm going to need for all eight of these. And then I can basically chain or, yeah, chain produce, chain sew. Anyways, sew the exact same seam eight times and then move on to seam number two eight times and so on. Crossing my fingers that it's going to be faster that way, although a little boring because I really don't enjoy that kind of sewing at all. But... They have to get done, so they will get done. And that is the bulk of my Christmas sewing. Um, I do have a pair of pajama bottoms I am sewing up for my, um, for Marianne's partner. I have the fabric over here. It's washed. It's ready to be cut. And I can sew those up on my serger really, really quickly. So that, that's going to be a done deal. I have also a t-shirt I want to make for hubby. Fabric is also here, washed, ready to go. And I have the pattern. It fits him. It's a quick one. It's a raglan sleeve tee. I'm going to make him the long sleeves for winter. And I might have some fun with my Cricut machine and put some heat transfer vinyl to make it like a graphic tee for him. I think that'd be really fun. So, yeah, so those are the things that I've been working on and plan on working on for Christmas gifts. I don't think I'll be able to sew any garments for myself in the next week 
because I really need to get these gifts all done so they can be wrapped. Now I need to brag about something that is not Christmas sewing related, but I was so proud of myself. And unfortunately, I don't have the pair of trousers with me at the moment, but I did my first blind hem on a pair of store-bought trousers this week. And yeah, it's a heck of a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so up until this pair of trousers, whenever I bought pants from the stores, they were always way, way too long for me. So I would mark where I wanted them to finish. And believe it or not, I would take them to a seamstress to get them hemmed properly because I didn't think that I could do it and make it look professional. So finally, earlier this week, um, and I told you this last week, I ordered a bunch of clothes just to see if the styles would fit me and then I would return them and make them. Well, one of those pairs of trousers is like a elevated cargo pant. It's really, really nice and it fits so nice. I decided to keep them and put on my big girl pants and do the hem myself. And seriously, it took me less than 10 minutes. Looks amazing. And yeah, so much easier than I thought. Anywho, um, have you ever done blind hems or blind stitch hems on your own trousers? I would love to know. Was I the only person who sews in the entire universe who still sent those out? to be done by a professional. All right, now, Vlogmas. So today, as you're watching this, it is December 1st. Maybe you are expecting a Vlogmas video from me, but this is going to be, I'm filming this on Thursday, the 30th. Um, this is gonna be the last official Friday Sews of the year, probably, unless I'm, I do one at the very end of December. Uh, I am going to start filming daily videos or daily vlogs for Vlogmas tomorrow, so on Friday the 1st. But what I plan on doing is film snippets all day, then edit, publish, and schedule the video to come out early the next morning, so early my time, so 7 a.m. my time. And that's the only way I think I can make this work and stay sane <laughs> during the whole Vlogmas period. That way I'll be able to film most of the day and then at the end of the day, just throw everything into my editor, publish, schedule, and it'll come out first thing in the morning. If not, it just became like, you know, what if I want to go to bed super early one night, then, you know, the no video is going to come out. Anyways, I just, in my head, this works better. So you are going to see the first Vlogmas video on December 2nd, but it will be all of the footage I took on the 1st. I hope that makes sense. All right, well, as far as life, well, things have been a little hectic around these parts. Um... I was supposed to have two birthday parties to go to this coming weekend. So it's my dad's birthday on Monday and my siblings and I were trying to organize a lunch for him on Saturday, but one of us, not me, came down with COVID this week. So we've had to cancel our plans um, and we moved it to the 16th. So my Saturday all of a sudden became wide open and I'm super excited because Marianne is going to come with her best friend to spend the day crafting down here. So super excited. So Saturday is going to be a whole crafty day with my girl and her best friend, whom I absolutely love. So that'll be super fun. And then Sunday evening, we are all getting together. When I say we, it's our six kids, seven grandkids my husband, you know, all of us family dinner to celebrate two birthdays. So my daughter-in-law is celebrating her birthday on the 1st and my stepson is celebrating on the 24th of December. So we're going to have one big family thing 
to celebrate both birthdays on Sunday night and I cannot wait. It's actually been a little while since all of us have been together. So really, really looking forward to that. It'll be very low key, very relaxed for me because we're just gonna order pizza and have birthday cake for dessert. And that's that. Oh, and I forgot to mention, little baby bear, who is not really a baby anymore, is turning two on Sunday. <laughs> so um, I, I do want to acknowledge that. So he might get a special treat on Sunday just to acknowledge the fact that he survived two years because he was such a bad kitten. <laughs> But um, yeah, he's two now. He's a lot calmer. And that's probably why you don't see him as much in these videos anymore, because he now sleeps all day. So yeah, he's not climbing and scratching and destroying things so much anymore, which is a good thing. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for me this week. I hope you've had a great week. I hope you have a fabulous weekend and get to spend it doing whatever it is you love to do. I know I will. I'm really looking forward to my weekend. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please give the video a like on your way out if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again and I will see you soon.